the data collected and stored within a project point may be viewed and edited at any time. To view the point data, use the View Edit Point Data function on the Project Data menu. The Point Data menu will appear. The Info Description tab provides the project name and point name for the point data being viewed. A text box is provided that will allow the user to enter a description for the point if required. The point data can also be processed using the processing function on this page. The Info Position tab shows the coordinate data for the selected project point. To modify the point coordinates, GPS altitude or SRTM altitude, use the Modify Location option. The data will be loaded onto the current coordinate fields, which can be modified. To modify a coordinate field, simply select the field of interest, then enter the modified value. To extract the SRTM evaluation data for the coordinates in the current fields, simply select the Get SRTM Data button. The SRTM data will be collected from the web and shown in the field. To apply the modified coordinate data to the point, select the Apply Location option. The updated coordinates will be shown. The Info Parameters tab shows the parameter data recorded and used for the point. The parameters provided including the seismic velocity model currently applied to the point data, the soil resistivity, the magnetic field data recorded, and the cable test status. The tab also provides access to the normalization, co-seismic effect, ground roll filters, and the seismic attenuation correction functions. These functions will later be discussed in detail. The ES Shot Data tab shows all the shot data collected for the point. The shots included in the stack data set are shown by a ticked symbol. To view the data for a particular shot, simply select the shot of interest on the list. To deselect a shot from the data stack, simply tap the tick symbol on the shot data set of interest. To include a shot on the data stack, simply tap the cross symbol on the shot data set of interest. The ES Shot Strict tab shows the shots currently included in the stack data set as selected in the ES Shot Data tab. The ES Shot Stack tab shows the stack data set for the point. The stack set is the summed average of all the shot data sets shown in the ES Shot Strikes tab. The EM Raw tab shows the frequency domain data for the electric field and the magnetic field data recorded at the point. The charts are interactive and can be zoomed. The Noise tab shows all the noise statistics recorded for the site. The noise statistics are displayed in color-coded bars with the relative amplitudes shown on the scale bars shown. If given a noise statistic is colored green, it is deemed acceptable. Yellow and red colors indicates that the data quality may be at higher risk. In some cases, normalization of data may need to be applied to the point data set. This may occur when there is a variation in the consistency of the seismic source used to collect the point data. To apply normalization, select the Info Parameters tab and check the Normalize data box. Select the ES Shot Stack tab to see the changes to the data set. Normalization applies an amplitude correction factor to the data set that normalizes the point data amplitude to a value of plus minus one. In some cases, the point data may contain co-seismic effects caused by the reflection of the seismic wave of a geological formation with a high acoustic impedance. These reflections take the form of regular echo pulses on the data set. To remove these effects, select the Info Parameters tab, then check Remove Co-Seismic Effects checkbox. Select the ES Shot Stack tab to see the changes to the stack data set. The filter processing time may vary on different devices. Once complete, the co-seismic echo effect will be removed from the stack data set. 
Coseismic ground roll effects are present in all electro-seismic data sets. The processing algorithms will remove them by default. However, the user may remove them before processing. This can be done by selecting the Info Parameters tab, then checking the Remove Coseismic ground roll effects box. Now select the ES Shot Stack tab to see the changes to the stack data set. The filtering processing time will vary on different devices. Once complete, the co-seismic ground roll effects will have been removed. In investigations deeper than 200 meters, it may be necessary to compensate for the attenuation of seismic energy lost at the seismic wave travels deeper into the Earth. This can be done by selecting the Info Parameters tab, then checking the Apply Seismic Attenuation Correction box. The dataset will be corrected by the squared loss of power with depth. To see the changes to the stack dataset, select the Info Parameters tab. The attenuation correction process time may vary on different devices. Once complete, the stack dataset will show the seismic attenuation corrected data trace. Deeper responses will be amplified as a result. The application has a function that will process the collected point data through the ATS servers. To access this function, the device must be connected to the Internet. To process point data, select the Info Description tab, then select Process Point Data button. Processing of point data is done automatically. The processing time is approximately 30 seconds per point. However, this time will vary on different devices. Processing of point data can be done at any time. If the user makes changes to the stack data set in any way, the point data must be reprocessed to affect the changes. Once the point data has been edited, the user must accept the changes to apply them to the point. Once the data is saved, the Project Data menu will appear.